Hi everyone, my name is Eric. I am a former competitive figure skater and this is my figure skating reaction series. For those of you who don't know me, I am a five-time U.S. National Championships competitor through the senior level. I trained for about 15 years in the Chicagoland area with top coaches, including most recently Olympic coach Denise Myers. So long story short, I know my stuff. Let's get started. Hi guys, I just wanted to come on here really quick because I just finished watching uh, the replay of the women's tour program at the 2022 Beijing Olympics um, figure skating event, individual event. Um, and I am a little bit pissed off or I, I don't know, I feel pissed off um, because I mean, basically all of this has been brewing for a while now, a long while, and I've known about it, but I feel like now that I'm really like watching it's the, the Olympics, it's legit-ish with the whole Camilla thing. Anyways, um, the insane overscoring of all three Russian women just really pisses me off. Um, and I'm going to kind of just ignore Camilla, honestly, her skate right now, just because I don't even know if I'm going to really count that <laughs> because of everything that's been going on. New things are coming out every day about, um, what medicines she did not take, whatever. So we're just going to set her aside for now. Um, and also, by the way, even before all of this, I did think that Camilla was someone where, um, you know, most people did think that she should be like getting first places in all these uh, competitions and that her PCS is like pretty good, maybe not the best, but it's pretty good. Um, and you know, her great job is consistent, whatever. So, but we're even just going to put all of Camilla aside. Um, so I want you guys to watch those skates again and tell me that Anna Sherbakova was better than Kaori Sakamoto. Um, that in PCS, uh, Anna Sherbakova deserves a 37.33 as opposed to Kaori deserving a 36.62. Three, oops, sorry, did I say that right? 37.33 for Anna and 36.62 for Kaori. Um, Kaori's speed, um, just like the performance for me, I don't know, just the PCS, I don't think that really makes sense. Um, by the way, it's not, it's really not just PCS, it's really the GOE as well. Um, so tell me that, uh, let me look at what I wrote on here, that for PCS again, that Sasha deserves a 35.48, which is within one point of Kaori, and almost two above Wakaba. Um, Sasha and Anna's crossovers, please look at their crossovers compared to like a Kaori, or even a Wakaba, or some of the other skaters. They're, they're not very strong. Anna's crossover, she goes like like this. She's like really cautious going into it. Um, Trusova doesn't have that many trends and stuff. Like, I don't know, I feel like they figured out a way to kind of um, game it a little bit because I, like if I go back and, and I haven't done this for this, but um, for this event, but like, and like look at the GOE criteria and it's like the arms over the head and like the couple of transitions before a jump, like, Sometimes I get that, but sometimes it just doesn't seem fair. So another example, this is for GOE now, um, that Wakaba's triple axel deserves mostly plus twos from the judges, whereas Anna's double axel deserves a plus three. Come on, that one should just be so obvious. Wakaba's triple axel is like, whoa, triple axel, beautiful landing, like solid, like, you know, more airtime. Anna's double axel is fine she deserves plus three for that like just because maybe she does a couple of turns in and out like i don't know and maybe people have different opinions on this but like even if wakaba is going to the triple axle like this which camilla by the way does as well um no like that's much that's just a much better and if that if if we, if we can like go back into the details of like this is how the judges arrived at these GOEs from like xyz criteria then like I just personally as a former figure skater and just as a viewer think that it's just wrong, that it's just, um, those, those just aren't right. Like a huge, a nice triple axle should not be getting 
that much lower than, you know, a fine double axle. That was whatever. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, there's like other examples as well. Yeah, like I thought, um, yeah, I don't know. Just for me, the top three, like, and this is all beyond even, this is, and, um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing this kind of live. So I haven't really even had notes for this. So, um, but this is honestly why judging almost pisses me off. And like, I've maybe alluded to this, um, or maybe I just said on Instagram, I can't remember, but it like pisses me off more than like Camilla being able to skate because Camilla being able to skate, um, whatever the, all those reasons, yes, it's unfair. Um, first of all, it's just one person at least. Um, and also like half the world has, is discrediting this. And while that I, I am really like not happy with that, this is like three skaters from all from one country where they are just getting higher PCS and GOE and just boosting all of their marks. Um, and that we are, we as a viewer are supposed to believe that that's fair. And especially people who don't know about skating, you know, the people who don't know about skating will be like, oh, Camilla, like, that doesn't count. People, like, understand doping. But what they don't understand is, like, the more detailed nuances and also having watched skating for, like, 15 years. You know what I mean? Like, they, like they might not get – they might be like, oh, I guess, maybe. Like, um, although I think also a lot of viewers um, will not agree based on, like, things like applause and things like who skated the best for that, things like that. But we're supposed to believe that this, like, these were fair. Um I get that, like, for example, Wakaba and Young, both of whom I thought skated, that should should have beaten uh, Anna and Sasha Trusva. When you do slow-mo it and all of that, Wakaba's um, uh, carrot, so under rotation on the plus triple toe, I think I thought it was more like a cue, but you know what? But no, like, I could see that, I guess. And then the um, cue and also the... Uh, I'm surprised with the cue on the triple flip, I think, but the edge, yes, I see that as well. So some of those things, you can see that those, like, go down to the GOE. And that's when it's like, you know, a viewer might not get that. But, like, I get that because I look at the scoring sheet and I can see it in slow-mo, right? So I get some of that. Um, although even just, like, spins and, like, other things getting cons just consistently lower GOE. It's like, it's as if, like, if you have a better reputation... Um, or like an Anna Trebakova or Sacha Trusva where you can do all these quads, but you're not even doing it in the short program because you can't. But like, you can do all these things. So therefore, um, on average, we're just going to give you higher GOE, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, that just does not make sense to me. Young Yu, downgrade on the axle. I don't know. Like, I thought that it was more like under rotation maybe. I don't know, guys. I, I mean, I have to go back and rewatch for the, some of those specifics. Um, surprised by that. Um, even, you know, younger triple axle getting like a, uh, a triple, sorry, triple S, triple toe, getting plus two speeds, like over some of the um, other skaters, like, yeah, Sasha and Anna getting much higher. Like, also just, I don't know, it also brings into a whole conversation of like, just having your arms up in the air, like, is that becoming a difficult Thing anymore like if that's the only way you know how to do some of the jumps i don't know that there's a there's all that kind of conversation to be had too um but yeah so i'm kind of rambling because i just like didn't feel happy with with what i saw uh, and and by the way i i do really like um all three of the russian women skating like they skate um like they're really impressive and when they do the quads um and the arms over the head i mean used to be impressive now it's like lost a little bit of, of its impressiveness. And I get that there's like transitions in and out of a jump, for example, like that deserves some more, you know, GOE. But like when someone has a huge jump and it's just beautiful and great and that is scored um, a below someone with like, just like a regular jump, for example, um, the spins, I don't know, like, yeah, like all the the Russians are getting plus fives on the spins, and they they Anna does have good spins. So does Camilla. I don't know. I just feel like it's like little things that just add up, and it almost like makes you like deceives that that it should be the right scoring. Um, and so at least one thing good about the six point oh system from before, which was corrupt, um, was that like a clear audience favorite. Even if you had like the most inside edge triple ups or whatever, like a clear audience favorite. 
can win. You know what I mean? Like they have the night. Like, for example, I could see in a 6.0 system, and by the way, I, I want to do another video on this later, but Adelina Satnikova like beating Unit Kim. Maybe. Maybe in a 6.0 system, new underdog coming in and just um, crushing the night, hometown advantage, like all this stuff, big jumps. I'm like, wow. But then you go back and you look at the the details, um, which I will go into a different video. I don't want to spoil it. Um, and it's just like, no, she should not have won. Um, but the thing is, with the IGS system, they're trying to make it more fair, right? It's not just, you know, uh, judging based off, you know, the country of origin or whatever, of the judges and, and of the skater. Um, and in some ways it was more fair, but now you're seeing, I feel like I'm seeing that this corruption goes into, um, into the IGS fully. And I don't know exactly, I don't know all the politics behind why the Russian skaters are getting such high, for example, PCS, like special truths about getting such high PCS. Like, I don't know all the politics, um, but it's just visible to me. Um, and, and now the IGS system is trying to justify it with, through numbers, because it's like, there's a point, there's math. So therefore it's correct. Like, no. Um, anyways. Yeah. So for me, First place was Kaori. Wow, beautiful program and the emotion afterwards. Like that should be like, you know, in first place after the short, you know what I mean? Um, for me, that was like first place, walk up a second, young you third. Honestly, those were my top three, which was, and I think they were scored more fairly. Um, they were actually in places three, five, and six here. But um I don't know. Those are my top three. Um, and, and I don't know, like maybe those are my top three basically because I'm unhappy, like I'm unhappy about how the other skaters were judged. So I'm like not considering them basically. Um, I don't know. Maybe with the downgraded triple axel, maybe Anna should be in four, uh, third or whatever. Um, by the way, yeah, like Camilla and Sasha had big mistakes. They're very noticeable. Everyone can see it. And then when you don't, when you don't penalize it that much compared to people with clean programs, you know what I mean? Like why, like, for example, a big mistake, what should that go? Like a big mistake on a jump should go into PCS to some extent, right? Because that's like the performance, for example. So maybe that should go into performance PCS. If so, why is, you know, I'm not going to go to Camilla's score. Uh, we're not going to do that, but like Sasha's performance mark that high, uh, let's see if I can actually find it. 8.96 versus, okay, Kaori's at least was 9.21. Uh, Wakaba's was 8.54. Another example. Why is Sasha's 8.96 and Wakaba's 8.54? Is it sometimes performance, right? It's like the more impressive job, Wakaba did a clean triple axel. Sasha did one carry, under rotated, and fell. Um, choreography like i don't know i just i don't really get it um anyways that's a ramble but that was my main takeaway from the from the event um and i know that's more of the negative side but i do want to you know reveal and kind of like say what i my honest opinion about the scoring um so again it's really it's not just camilla uh, the doping issue um although who knows what that could mean for the other ones as well but it's really um this i don't i don't know i don't understand why exactly um and maybe it's the ijs system maybe it's these strange things that i like the most obvious example to me why like an anna would get a higher right or like such a high component is because like transition right in and out of a jump and why that but like i just don't see that that should be higher than like a wakaba triple axel so anyways um that's just my thoughts. Um, some really great skates, um, some not as great skates. Definitely people were a little bit shaky. I mean, there's been so much going on this past week. I don't blame any of them. Um, Lisa Liu did, did really well. Uh, I'm really happy for her. Like, you know, a few things here and there, and they gave her a lower PCS, which is understandable. Um, I was surprised that Luna was ahead of her with her skate. So it's, it's not just the Russians. Uh, there's other things that are a little bit surprising. You go back and look and like some of them are you're more okay with and some of them you're more not okay with. But for me, I was like Sasha and then with the fall of Triple Axel and then those, that, those scores and the PCS and then um, Anna and, and her scores, which are always really high. Um, 
Well, that's just what I think. Uh, maybe I'll do some more detailed things later. Um, but that's my like initial reaction after just having watched the event. So hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think. Feel free to disagree with me. Tell me why Anna and Sasha should be getting all the points in the world. Lay it on, even though, even if they make a big mistake, um, tell me why. But for me, I think Carrie took, took the night for me, first place for me. So that's all I have. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell. See you next time.